Hello doctors and aspiring doctors, how are you? I am sure you must have filled your counselling seats. I am sure you must be waiting for the allotment letter to come and reach your hand. And I am sure you must be dreaming the day where you step your foot into your medical college which has been a dream for years together for most of you. So in this video, I am going to talk about the difference between a government medical college and a private medical college. And I feel that I do have decent amount of exposure to both. I have studied in a government medical college both my undergraduate and postgraduate and I have worked in a private medical college so I can talk at the both centers of the arm and I also tell you how to become the best version of yourself even a resource poor setting fine I'm Dr. Ranjit your pathology teacher at PW Medet and if you're first time to this channel subscribe to the channel we'll talk more about the journey of MBBS we'll learn more things together and we'll excel and definitely definitely I'm sure that we'll become the best version of yourself in the MBBS curriculum right so let's go back to the video once again so like I said, I'm going to talk about the difference between government and private medical college here. I'm not going to sugarcoat things. I'll put out straight out facts. I'm sure most of you must have known it. If you have researched it, I'm sure you must have known it as well, right? We'll categorize the video in terms of clinical exposure, in terms of the infrastructure, in terms of the teacher's availability, in terms of job opportunities, and maybe excelling the next exam or becoming the best doctor in, our, in your respective field, right? So let's start. So the first thing is the clinical exposure. It's without doubt to become a best doctor, you need to see more number of patients. More exposure you get, definitely that's what is going to refine you. That's what's the experience component of being a doctor, right? And I'm not going to compare the premier institute in my country like Ames. I'll compare an average government medical college to an average private medical college. Because when I compare the premier institute, it becomes an outlier and will not have a good comparison, right? So when you compare an average government medical college and to an average private medical college, undoubtedly the government medical college will have more patients exposure, definitely. And because the government offers few services are free and most of the country which is not affordable definitely goes to government medical college, right? So though private medical college have free OPD, there are a few other things which comes as a cost and they might not attract more patients, right? That's true. I'm not denying that fact at all. But to become a good doctor, there are two components. One is being a good student, one is becoming a good doctor, which is the experience, right? So there's a famous saying in MBBS curriculum, which says that what your brain doesn't know, your eye doesn't see. So the first half of becoming a best doctor is read. You have amazing textbooks. You have us, PW Medan, we have amazing teachers here. They'll definitely help you reach the first half. How to get the experience if you're in a private medical college. Right till the last moment of the video, I'll definitely tell you a hack how you can become the best doctor of yourself, even in a resource poor setting, right? Next, we'll slowly move on to the infrastructure. So when I take infrastructure, there are multiple components in infrastructure, right? Be it a hostel, be it a mess, be it your library, be it your classrooms, be it your advanced equipments in the hospital, right? All of them come under infrastructure. So I would say the infrastructure of a government medical college may be a little bit less compared to a private medical college. Like I said, I'm not comparing the premium institutes and average government medical college, right? Undoubtedly, the hostels will be new, the mess will be good, and your machines will have be advanced, and most of the private medical college libraries are equipped with the latest textbooks. When you go to a government medical college, they might not have that much resources, because definitely the funding of the government is definitely a little bit squeezed compared to a private medical college. Yes, you might have good amount of CT scans. Some of the government medical college might not have an MRA, but just definitely private medical college will have. Some of the government medical college hostels might not be that great, mess might not be that great, right? Yes, there is definitely a difference in the infrastructure. I would rate personally a private medical college infrastructure wise a little bit better than a government medical college, right? When you come to the third component here, right? The education, the teaching part. When I compare a private medical college, there are few private medical colleges which do not have enough teaching faculties there, right? So they don't have teaching faculties, so they're kind of struggling in that aspect. So you will definitely have exposure, you will definitely have teachers who will be helping to cover the teaching curriculum. Don't worry, for becoming a good student, there are two important things. The first thing is the student's interest. If the student has interest, second thing is the teacher even without the teacher availability because some of the private medical colleges don't have enough adequate uh, teaching staffs even without the teacher availability this good student can excel in medicine you're in a college right you're not in schools you have textbooks and you have your time so utilize your time read proper standard textbooks 
and if you have any doubt pw method and a set of faculties are here to help you they are experienced in teaching they are experienced in seeing patients and diagnosing patients we will definitely share our experience to you so that you can definitely go through half of the hurdles of becoming a good student so what the brain knows like i said will be taken care of by us and with your interest right so next coming on to the last but not the least is the curriculum same yes curriculum is obviously same but one good thing what nmc did was the cbma curriculum so most of the teaching has most of the teaching met- methodology pedagogy everything is more or less same and determined from aims delhi to the lower most private medical college in our country so there's no much of contrast difference there slight change in the university exam patterns but that also hopefully will be neutralized in future right so the last question and the burning question for most of you is can i crack next exam if i do mbbs in a private medical college because next is been trending all over right second thing is will i get a good job opportunity when i go outside will i be able to diagnose patients and also like i said the hack is there right i'll talk about that as well clearing a next exam getting a good job or opportunity doesn't matter really where you're coming from right so when i went for a job i'll tell you frankly what happened no one cares about how your mbbs is you will get a job definitely you'll get a job you get into the place it's about how you perform there if you're going to do well diagnose well be humble be compassionate to the patients definitely you'll shine in your career yes knowledge is important but knowledge and the college is not the only thing which determines your future right i have standing examples of students from private medical college shining in like anything one of the best teachers what i had was a cardiology professor did his mbbs as well as md from a private medical college so it doesn't mean that if you're from a private medical college okay your life is doomed not at all it's in your hands your interest and your way to climb up the ladder and i'm sure if a guy is interested or a girl is interested they will climb up the ladder for sure right so job opportunities doesn't matter no one is going to worry about where you are coming from yes there are few tags like i said i'm not comparing the premium to it right if you're from aims delhi there's a tag for sure so i'm not comparing the premium to the rest of them almost everyone is the same board when it comes to exam the next exam is a competitive exam So more you learn, more you solve MCQs, more prepared you are for the exam. It's a student part; it's not the doctor's part. So, like I said, the pattern is uniform, and we have an amazing team here to train you. And definitely, you will get equally equipped like a person from a government medical college, right? The last but not the least, the hack. So, like I said, in a private medical college, when I have less number of patients, how do I excel? See, if you look at patients, there are two categories of patients. One. majority group is the common illnesses like fever diarrhea throat pain urinary tract infection right so these are the common ones headache and any college be it government or private medical college will have definitely these cases malaria dengue fever everything for sure you will have the best way to acute best way to diagnose best way to treat so in your private medical college if you get these cases and i'm sure you will get these cases try to learn from them don't go for syndromes don't go for fancy diagnosis don't imagine that you will become doctor house a good doctor entering into mbbs that is show business right so in reality when you come out as a doctor when you practice in your clinic you will be seeing the same cases in junk diarrhea fever headache these those are the chunks joint pain those are the chunks this you will see in any college for sure second thing is we are living in india the biggest strength of india is 140 plus or 50 crore of population right so like i said if your brain knows you can sit in a park and look at the patients and make a diagnosis look at a patient the patient the walks i can say okay this patient is having this problem in walking look at the patient observe the patient you can observe the ear of a patient and say okay this patient is most likely predisposed to heart attack so knowledge is the most important thing here and we live in india and believe me If you are interested, if you're going to go to AIMS Delhi or any government college and say, "Okay, I want to go and observe or help you in casualty for ten days," they'll welcome you with red carpet. So it's again in the interest of the students, right? So if you are in a resource poor setting, also learn well. That is your job. Read well. Abhi will definitely help you in reading well. And once you're done that, when you're having a break or when you're having a free time, go to government college. can contact your friends in the government college or seniors in the government college just go and sit there and observe not there sit in a park and observe indians are very good known for judging right let's judge 
let's judge people in terms of symptoms and signs and believe me that's more than enough and you'll understand this for sure once you enter mbbs you will have learn and i'm sure you will look at every person in the lens of a doctor that is enough that's what comes from an experience you can learn more in from outside more from surroundings than confined to an opd take it from me it's about your interest so definitely it's nullified coming to the end of it i'm just going to summarize undoubtedly government medical college is cheaper they do have good clinical exposure yes infrastructure might not be great but yes job opportunities and your career opportunities of clearing a competitive exam is not based on the uh, college it's based on the individual private medical college is expensive you cannot uh, do anything regarding that definitely the fee is easily 10 times more than a government medical college private medical college do not have much cases but like i said there's a hack you can definitely take over that you can learn observe and definitely excel in the medical field right so if you have any more doubts regarding government or private medical college put in the comment section i'll try maximum to reply that and all the very best and we will the entire pw medical team welcomes you with a big arm to become doctors and for aspiring doctors government or private is not going to stop you from achieving greatness right see you soon till then bye bye from dr ajit bye bye